defensive linemen, uh, I would say half of them didn't come in on scholarship. You know what I mean? They earned it and he developed those kids into that position and stuff like that, if not more of them. And that, uh, uh, they're so close and things like that. They play hard and uh, there isn't anybody on the team won't tell you that's one of the best groups you're going to see in the conference collectively as a group. And but I'm not worried about that anymore, having, you know, the big marquee linebacker. Because when the uh, uh, Ethan Douglas played and the Tony Leggett played and the people before them played, uh, Travis Smith and, and those, those guys played, they were all marquee linebackers. Those guys didn't have the odd defensive line we got in front of them right now. You, 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 you know what I'm saying? You know, and I, you know, I just want, well, all I want out of my linebackers is do your job, play solid, and be consistent in your play, and we'll be fine. I have opportunities are endless, you know, because we, we can take care of each other this year more so than we could in other years, you know. You know, and I, I feel pretty good about that. I really do. We we started a new uh, uh, deal this year. Is uh, I put some kids on the spot, but uh, every night we have a, a player that has to talk about the team. Say what he wants. He can talk a minute. He can talk five minutes. You know, he talks about the team, and these guys get up there, and we, you know, I'll pick one out. I mean, tomorrow night you're up here and things like that. That guy gets up and talks about the team, and uh, uh, we've had some of them get standing ovations when they got done talking. You know, that's pretty neat. You know, kids are listening and, and tense and stuff like that, and it's uh, it's it's worked well. I feel real, real good about it.